All right, Mark here with uh, Eastwood's R&D Corner. Today we're gonna talk about metal fab, and in particular, our new English wheel. So you're asking, what do you need an English wheel for? Well, when it comes time for you to stop paying people to fabricate for you, or you wanna expand your metal fab skills, a wheel's gonna be the next thing you're gonna purchase here. This piece here we're shaping with, you can see you got the compound curves going on here. This is where you need an English wheel. Uh, the wheel's gonna do some stretching. You can shrink with them. Now uh, this is a bowl that we just whipped up real quick here. But also what we're doing, <clears throat> these are some fender flares we're making right here. So these, four of these right here would pay for the cost of an English wheel. What we're gonna do is show you in just a couple minutes how we can take this piece of 20 gauge here, turn it into a flare. But first, let's go over some of the features of this machine. Some of the things that make this the best, most affordable unit on the market today in the bench top size. First thing you can see is the rigid frame. We got these doublers on here, all structurally bolted together so that you have no flex. Don't trust a $200 welded rectangular tomb wheel. The second is you can index both your main eight inch wheel and your anvil's 90 degrees. We'll show you that where you can turn this 90. So you can work your material here for larger pieces or here. This both uh, saves space in your placement on the workshop. Uh, the next thing is, as you can see, it can be bolted to the bench or simply clamp it right in here to a vise, make it very portable. So now you've seen some of the features of this unit. So let's go ahead, show you how it works and make some fender flares. All right, so now we got our flare cut to shape out of the uh, piece we started with. What we're gonna do is show you how you take your metal from this and stretch it to get that contoured flare that we're after. Before we hit the wheel, we're just gonna quickly rough it with the panel bag. First, we're gonna give ourselves a mark. Approximately two and a half inch flare is what we want on this one here. So we're just gonna run a consistent arc right around there. What this is gonna do, give us a line to start stretching. All we're doing with the bag here is just roughing it in. The wheel is gonna do all of the finish work. Let's go ahead and get started. Another feature on this wheel that you're not going to find on others in this category is your adjustability. Up here you have two bolts that allow your main 8-inch wheel to both be set left, right, and fore and aft. Also your lower anvil, you have four different adjustments down here. So what that does is that allows you to dial this in perfect to suit your needs. So we're going to go ahead and put a little tension on here. And then when you're rolling, you want to roll with your contour, what we're doing is we're following around this arc. We don't just want to run against it or 90 degrees to keep that moving. And it doesn't take long at all to start getting your shape gone. All right, now you can see what we've done. We've stretched this area in here and you can see how we're bringing it in real nice. What we're gonna do is a little bit more stretching on the um, ID here, and then finish it up with the wheel. All right, as you can see, we just hit it with the uh, flap just real quick, just to take some uh, some of the marks out of there. But you can see that we're bringing this thing right in. Here's what we started with. And we started with our straight panel. And you can see what we brought into that. That's gonna turn into a real nice fender flare. <clears throat> so this is why you're gonna need something like this. Using the English wheel to uh, perform more projects, take your metal fab to the next level. Again, some of the features you're not gonna find in other wheels at this size is the construction of the frame, very rigid, so you don't have any type of flex in here. Indexable wheels, and again, 
finite adjustment in here, which will allow you to bring these wheels in, both X, Y axis here, dial them in exactly where you want. So do yourself a favor, click the link below, go ahead and get an English wheel and start fabricating parts today.